Minecraft was the game of my childhood. Even recently, I've been slowly withering away while listening to podcasts and mining for a solid 3 hours straight. I remember when I first bought Minecraft, because I remember it was $40 on my Xbox 360, and it was probably the most expensive thing I had ever asked for at that point in my life. I remember loading into the tutorial map with the huge cobblestone castle and all the little abandoned cottages in the forest surrounding it. I also remember finding the glitch so that you didn't have to do the tutorial to actually get into the castle. I still played the game up until recently, and probably had more fun than I did when I was younger. Minecraft is probably one of my favorite games, so I thought I should try my best to do it justice in a scuffed review. I'm going to try and explain to you why Minecraft was such a timeless, fantastic game. So with that out of the way, let's get into my favorite part of all these videos, the breakdown. Since Minecraft's graphics never really tried too hard in the first place, and kept an overall simplistic visual design, the game never really became outdated. I don't know why Minecraft's visuals stuck with so many people, including me, but it just did. The game's graphics weren't hard to run, so you could play Minecraft on almost anything. An iPod, iPad, iPhone, Laptop, PC, PS Vita, Xbox, PlayStation, and even the Wii U, which made the game accessible to so many people. The game's overall visual and audio design gave you somewhat of a nostalgic feeling, and it just made me want to keep coming on back for more. And obviously, the game's graphics aren't the only reason why Minecraft is still being played by millions today. But the art style is always a major selling point in video games, and for Minecraft, it was no different. Minecraft's unique pixelated design sparked many copycats including Mine Z, which I remember playing as well, Eating Craft, which was a mobile game, and lots of shitty named ripoffs like Mine Block, Craft World, and Blockcraft. The music on this game is by far the best video game soundtrack and nobody can compete, period. The number of songs on the alpha pack by C418 that are actually something I would listen to in my spare time is insane, especially for a video game soundtrack. The calming piano solos are so distant and vibrant, it reminds me of pastel colors for some reason. The vibe of all the songs in the game make you feel like you're losing track of time and the music just overtakes your thoughts and it becomes a thoughtless playthrough while you focus on the subtle tones of the piano. When Minecraft became popular again about last year, I hopped on the trend and started playing my own little hardcore world, and when I started up the game and that faint music started fading in, I started having Vietnam flashbacks of playing Minecraft in our living room and building tree houses in the jungle, while dying multiple times to booby traps inside of the jungle temples. The songs give you a nostalgia for something that you haven't even felt before. It's like liminal reality, but in the form of sound. It's very similar to Instapendo's music, which is the main music that I've used for this video. Here are some samples of the similar, but also different feeling that I'm talking about. I'm going to share with you my favorite part of Minecraft in a subtopic format. I'll be going from top to bottom of my list of gameplay features, starting out with mining. I never really was a man that enjoyed mining up until about the beginning of this quarantine. I always saw it as something I had to do in order to progress, but now I view it as a way to relax and spend time listening to some Misfits podcast episodes or maybe have a long queue of Mr. Nightmare scary stories in the background. This was really my main pastime during the beginning of quarantine when I had no school for about 4 months, and I really recommend you give this a try if you don't already do it. Minecraft's mining is also very rewarding. The feeling you get in your stomach when you find diamonds is awesome. Just spending a lot of time mining and collecting a shit ton of resources and then coming back to your house and organizing it is always such a rewarding feeling to the player. Moving on down our list we have building. Building in Minecraft is the simplest concept, but it's the main reason why this game is so amazing. The fact that you can build your house however you want, out of whatever you want, really adds to the creative aspect of this game. Every time I start a new world, I'll spend a lot of time collecting the right resources for building the house that I have planned in my mind. 
Not only is this game fun to build in survival mode as I mentioned, but creative flat worlds are awesome too. I recently picked up the PS5 and have been playing consoles way more often, and I've been playing a ton of creative Minecraft, and I've just been building creative things in a world that I have. Everything from huge skyscrapers to Travis Scott. It just shows that the, with Minecraft, the sky's the limit when it comes to creating shit that you want to create. Next up on our list is combat. Who knew a game about mining blocks and building shit would have such an intuitive combat system? Well, at least when it comes to PvP. When it comes to PvE, it's more like... But when it comes to PvP, it's more like... Now, I'm gonna be clear with you all, I'm not good at Minecraft PvP, and I don't know a lot about it either, but I do know that there's a shit ton of tactics that you can use, like ender pearls, lava, and other things I don't know. It takes a lot of practice and skill to be good on Minecraft PvP servers, and I'm not that interested to get into the nitty gritty about these kinds of things, but it's overall an interesting part of the Minecraft community that I thought I should mention. And lastly, but most definitely not least on our list, is the exploration in this game. I feel like this is in a similar category to mining, as this is also what I used to do during the beginning of quarantine. I spent a lot of time exploring the worlds and just searching for stuff like temples, villages, mine shafts, strongholds, and I mean, if we're getting into different dimensions, there's end cities, nether fortresses, and nether castles that were just recently added. As you can see, there are a lot of things that you can explore in this game, and that's what makes Minecraft such a good game. All these gameplay aspects that I mentioned above keep this game's longevity, and that's why it has a special place in a lot of people's hearts, including mine. The Nether is an interesting place. A lot of people hate it, and very few actually love it. If I had to choose, I would probably go with that I hate it. The music is unpleasant, and the enemies aren't that cool. And it also has a shitty look to it, like a bad vibe. And I know that the nether is supposed to do that, because basically it's supposed to be Minecraft hell, I guess. But I just don't like it very much. I remember thinking it was a cool place when I was younger, but I was also terrified of it because I was little. And I really didn't like it when gas just decide to Pearl Harbor you when you're standing next to your portal. So yeah, basically, I would say the nether is a 2 out of 10. Kinda bad realm. Now the end, on the other hand, is kinda cool. There's not much to do here except finish the game and maybe look for end cities, but what I think is cool is the atmosphere. The dragon is also pretty cool, but I really like the whole void thing. I don't even know what the end is trying to resemble, because with the nether it was supposed to be hell, but with the end, I don't know. The endermen are friendly until they're not, but overall this realm was pretty cool, but I'm gonna give it a solid 7 out of 10 because of the lack of content. In conclusion, obviously, Minecraft is an amazing game, and it will live on for years in the hearts of many. I hope I was able to do the greatness of this game justice, because it truly is one of my favorites. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you have any feedback on how I can make my videos better, or if you just wanted to share some opinions, be sure to do so in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe, because there's many more on the way.